Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 27th of uh, July 2021. Yes, I'm getting the date right, even though I was on vacation for a long time now. Two weeks. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I'm one day late because I just arrived back home. But nonetheless, we will bring you some good whiskey news. The first comes from Royal Brackler. They're bringing out the 12 and the 18 year old new. The 12 is just a, a remake with a different label, different content in the bottle. So everything made new and the 18 didn't exist. So it is a whole new creation. Both have 46% ABV. Both have been matured in American Oak. First built, refill and recharge. And after that maturation and the mixture of that, um, that goes to a finish in sherry casks. So yeah, good new Royal Brockler 12 and 18 year old. Then we have news from Bladnock. They're bringing out a Bladnock 19 year old sherry cask matured. It's a um, wholly matured um, sherry Pedro Chimines. Bladnoch with 19 years in these sherry casks with 46%, 46.7% ABV, no chill filtration, no coloring, and it is avail uh, yeah, available Germany. I'm not quite sure how worldwide available it will be. Um, yeah, then we have news from Whitey McKay. Whitey McKay is bringing, has a new campaign and they are actually um, going, want to use the Scottish oak for maturing whiskey. They already started that in 2019 and some of you might uh, remember the King of Trees bottling. And now they're announcing they will be having a second, um, yeah, development coming out from the distillery of Fettecairn and we don't know much about that yet. Then we have an anniversary coming up. Dewars is becoming 175 years old and the brand um, yeah, owner Bacardi is celebrating that with an anniversary edition and the anniversary edition is limited to 175 bottles. 43% ABV. So um, yeah, 175 bottles for a Dewar's blend is very, very, very low. So I guess the prices will be high, but we don't know any figures yet. Then we have news from a new blend, uh, the McNair's blend. No, not that new, but it got a new range, the Boutique House of Spirits is now starting and um, the new range is a range of blended malts and rums and it is designed with the McNair's Lumbrick blended, uh, blended malts and all the bottlings have age statements and they are at least 46% ABV. Uh, for yeah, 46% ABV, natural color and not chill filtered. Yeah, that's kind, kind of an ongoing theme with all the stuff that the master blender Billy Walker does at his new creations and new distilleries. Then we have a news from Ireland, Black Irish Whiskey or Black Irish, that's what they call it. Black Irish is kind of a blend or a spiced whiskey. It's not Irish whiskey because it's blended Irish whiskey or not not quite blended Irish whiskey either. Uh, I can tell you what's inside. That's maybe that's easier. You have 70, 80% uh, Irish whiskey and that is blended together with a strong stout, probably also Irish. And um, it was already available in Great Britain for a long time now or for a year now and now it comes more and more to the international markets as well as our market. So maybe I'll have it on the cask. And it's not just the blending with the stout, but they are also doing an infusion with chocolate malt and some spices. So it's, you can tell what's inside. So is it really a spiced whiskey or is it really a blended whiskey or, or a, a liqueur? You don't know, but uh, it's definitely not what we know as whiskey, but something else. Last but not least, we have from the international distillery, the German distillery of St. Kilian. They're bringing out their seventh edition. And the seventh is now a special edition with only sherry casks. 
used for the maturation. And yeah, they say it's all about the Andalusian sun. 50 51.7% uh, ABV, no coloring, no chill filtration, limited to 5,700 bottles. And maybe we'll have some one of that on our cask, but I don't know yet. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.